episode 99 of The Beardcaster. My name is Scott Sakura, and I am The Beardcaster. Welcome to a podcast all about beards, mustaches, and the bearded culture with all the fun stuff that goes along with it. It's about the facial hair lifestyle we live from our daily lives in the world around us and how we deal with life. So please join myself and Aaron D. Johnston as we share the stories about these people and hear how they are using their facial hair to do great and fun things. That was a lot to say there, but welcome to another super awesome edition of Talking Beards. Our guest today is Mr. Gregory Rittner of the Rocky Mountain Beard and Mustache Club. We have uh, Greg on today to talk about the Mile High Beard Bout, which I will be a judge at this weekend. Uh, but we talked about the event and we talked about all the cool stuff going on with it. So make sure you check this episode out. Don't forget to go to our Facebook page, that is the Talking Beards Facebook page, and go to, there's a button on there that you hit for the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board, and if you have anything you have to share with the beard community, please do it there. We'll read it on the show next week. Don't forget to also go to, yes, mudcatwhiskers.com. When you're checking out, don't forget to enter Talking Beards as your promo code, and you'll get 25% off your order and a free bottle of Evangeline beard oil. It's a new a new one that's coming out, so you, you guys will get it before it comes out. You get to try it out. Let them know how you feel about it. So, mudcatwhiskers.com, thank you for sponsoring our trivia. So... And one last thing, we uh, Chris was out this episode. Uh, his father had uh, was in the hospital, so uh, we didn't have Chris with us. But we are sending our thoughts and prayers to Chris and his family. Uh, his dad's doing better, so everything's all good. Um, and that's about it for that. So let's just uh, dive into this episode. It was a lot of fun. Ooh, it was a lot of fun. So make sure you check it out. TalkingBeards.com. You can find out more information about me by going to TheBeardCaster.com. But let's get into this and action. It says you are live, so that must mean we're live. Yeah, look how big your package is. Yeah, look at it. Would you just look at it? Greg's head looks too big. Yeah, his head's pretty not proportional to his body. Looks like I'm back in Tyler Hill around in my pants. I know. I like it. I'm trying to get this embed going here so we can get in bed. <laughs> you want to get in bed? Because you see my package right there. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, come on. Where are we going? I don't know. Oh, Talking Bears is live. Episode 23. Yeah, with Greg Ridner, maybe. I've never heard of him before. Me neither. No one might not ever hear of him. I know, if he doesn't get his crap in gear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whatever. Okay. I forgot what I'm doing. Okay. I know. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, Hello, hey. everyone. Beard. Live! Live. 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 Talking beards, beards live. live. I, I never pushed my chair up. Like we're kind of discombobulated tonight. Is that the right word? Yes. Yeah. We, we yeah. We're we're a little uh, off uh, off off kilter, off axis, off. Yeah. But you know what? I we give got up. this. Oh, we do. Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. We got this. Don't worry about it. So this is episode number twenty three. Most likely with special guest Greg Rittner. Yes, most likely. Hopefully. Most likely. Hopefully. Possibly. Could be. Maybe. Could, could possibly be, hopefully. Yeah. We have well, well, we've spoken with him already, but we're having a lot of major uh connection is not connection issues, uh, sound no, not issues. Connection issues. Greg Rittner called us from like Times Square <laughs> yeah. New Year's New Year's Day Eve party. party. <laughs> he was like, Can you hear me? <laughs> well, I'm I'm at a party. What's the problem? It was like he was yeah. on a he was like on a roller coaster and like all the <laughs> wind blowing in the background. So, so you can't hear me. You you're you're in a space shuttle or something. I don't understand. 
So, uh, yeah. So we are Talking Beards Live, number episode number 23. Uh, as usual, we'll have the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board. Uh, breaking news. Right? Is that what we called it? Well, the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board Breaking of, and of breaking news. Yeah, of breaking yeah, news. Yeah, so so we're we're adding to the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board of Breaking News. So we've combined our two segments. It's it's gonna be basically revolutionary tonight. Uh <laughs> we will also talk about upcoming beard competitions. And if you're not aware, that is a uh competition for beards. Or mustaches too. It's mm, a, not really. Usually I thought it was a beard and mustache contest. Right. So you have to have a beard and or a mustache. So that means that whalers are basically, oh. they can't do it anymore because they don't have a mustache. Shame. Um, it's, it's, a shame. it's a shame. Sorry, Shannon. It's, it's a shame. I, mean, I know. It, breaking news already. The, no more No more whalers. Oh, sorry, um, T- Tyler Hill. I'm really sorry about that. I, I was, Tyler. I got, I got, he, da dang. <laughs> yeah. So sorry, Tyler. I did get that message. And yes, I would like to try some of your apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to try Tyler Hill's pie. Yeah. This is disgusting. He's my apple pie. Speaking of, did y'all see this? I know. Yeah. Look at that. That's hot. That is hot. Anyway. You so look, uh, you look really good. Thanks. I've been working out with uh, Greg Rittner. Uh, what else is going on? We'll also have the Mud Cat Whiskers trivia. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll figure something out for trivia. We've yeah. got you know we've got forty five minutes to figure something yeah, out. Yeah, we so do. I'll, we'll put something together. Yeah. So don't uh, don't but, well don't don't forget to go to the like I said uh, Mud Cat Whiskers sponsors our trivia section. So don't forget to go to mudcatwhiskers dot com. Check out all the cool stuff they have. If you decide that you want to buy something, enter the promo code TALKINGBEARDS in the promo code section, and you will get two cool things. Two. Two and two, says Chuck Woolery. 25% off your order and a bottle of what type of oil? Evangeline. Evangeline oil. <laughs> <laughs> same thing. It's same, the same thing. thing. But yeah, yeah you'll get, you'll get um, a... Yeah. So, Just so you know, uh, their website's back up and running as of yesterday. Oh. So he he took a vacation with his family and turned the website off. Just so everybody knows. Yeah. So Alan, you will, as Alan's asking right now in the chat, uh, we will get you your code next. Uh, yes. it, by, at the end of the show, we'll get it to at you. At the end of the show, you will have it. I I have the codes. And but then the website's been down. So yeah. And then the winner today will also get a code, and uh, we'll go we'll go from there. So then that way. When you guys win today, you'll be able to go to the Mudcat Whiskers website and choose what you want. So and get your Evangeline oil. Yeah, and brought get to it. you by Scott Sakura. That's right. That's right. <laughs> me, me, me. me yeah. Me, me. So we'll, we'll get started here. I'm Aaron D. Johnston. I am the uh, co-host of this fantastic Oscar award-winning, soon-to-be show, Talking Beards, and. That's it. Aaron D. Johnson and Instagram, all that good stuff. Go ahead, Scott. I am Scott Zakora. Uh I do a podcast called The Beard Caster. Um, do yeah, I do. Well, oh, okay. I, I, I kind of haven't in a while, but um, I'm getting ready to celebrate my 100th episode, which is going to be, uh, I, I'm, I'm getting behind here and I'm having a really hard time uh, kind of keeping up right at the moment, but uh yeah, if you go to thebeardcaster.com, you can find out more information about the podcast. Uh, pretty much, if you don't want to watch us live, you can go to thebeardcaster.com and you can go subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts at. Uh, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, it, just, it, it goes on and on. Oh, and Pandora, Pandora too, Pandora. Well, don't forget about Pandora's box. Yeah, don't forget about it. Don't open it could be bad things no. in there but uh if you go to uh thebeardcaster.com you can find out how to listen to these shows so like some people like myself i listen to a lot of podcasts that are news shows that they repurpose into audio but uh i will be doing some uh one-off episodes of the beardcaster coming up i have some ideas and people i want to talk to and stories i want to cover so it'll be like talking beards like presents the beardcaster doing like interesting and like i don't know uh entertaining stories with certain people so 
kind of like sending Walter Cronkite on location and him interviewing people. You look like Walter Cronkite. I do. Oh, and now twins. for the news. That's what he sounds like, right? Now for the news. Sounds just like you. It's like you didn't even change your voice at all. We 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 got this going on. What? Just throwing this out. SSG nineteen pre party July twelfth and Mercy Lounge July thirteenth in Nashville. Keep up the good job. So if anybody would like to go to a pretty awesome beard competition with one of the best trophies ever, you should go to Nashville on. Uh, yeah, what'd that say? July 13th. 13th. Yep. Yeah, the 13th in Nashville. I'm not even going to try to say their club name, but you know who you are. You know. Metro- Metropolitan Pornography <laughs> Society. Was that right? Pornography Society? No, not pornography. Pognography. No, mm-hmm. I don't know. They have like the most difficult club name to say, and even their club members came to say their freaking club name. Hmm. But, you know, Nashville they- Beer Club. They throw pogs? <laughs> yeah. You duh. You get the big coin looking thing, you slam it down, and then all the It's psh- called a slammer. Oh yeah. I don't know. I never played that game. Oh. You psh, whatever. <laughs> you you're playing pogs before the show. That's I know you. I was. But uh yeah, so to kind of finish up there, but uh yeah, so you can find all the information about that stuff to uh thebeardcaster.com. And then you guys can also watch this show live at talkingbeards.com. Now, most of you can see as you're looking at your page right where you're at right now, there's a little button at the bottom that says share. So yeah, slammers. But uh, hit that button, share it, share the show with your friends, start a watch party on your page, get all your friends joined in and like have fun. Let's just like get this out to as many people as we can and like bring them all into this one location where we can learn all bunch about a whole bunch of cool stuff. So everybody just share the crap out of this thing share the crap out of it that's that's basically the moral of the story so now what now now what you want to do we have greg rittner well he's there he's ready but we're we're gonna give him give him a few minutes but uh um yeah so we're gonna we're gonna go into the uh the bs button beard bulletin board and breaking news we got to change the header on this now so uh yeah bring that up right now sir sure yeah uh, I was distracted. Hashtag Pogs for Life says Crystal. <laughs> Pogs for. Uh, uh, oops. Sorry. There we go. Oh, hey, oh, there we go. No, oh, hey, we did it. We did it. We so did it. this is the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board. Now, for all of you that are watching right now, all you need to do see, look at here we go. Kathleen Kala Apodaca is watching a is hosting a watch party. <laughs> Must be so our many, show. So many people are going to be watching Catherine Colleen Apodaca's watch party. Alpaca Wacka Daca. Oh, yeah. Alpaca Daca Wacka. See, there we go. Brandy Elizabeth. Look at all these people. My BFF Scott Sakura and his super cool chin hair show. <laughs> I like this. I'm writing it down. The chin, chin hair, hair show. show. <laughs> <laughs> I can't forget this. I know. I know. Um, okay. So, uh, Anyways, if you guys want to, we want, we encourage you all to go to the Talking Beards Facebook page. And when you get there, you're going to go and hit, there's a little button on the top of the page and it'll say visit page, I think. And it'll take you right to the BS button beard bulletin board. And this is where you guys can come in like right here and write super awesome. (laughs) Do you see that? You guys, you type in like a cool story and it'll it'll come in there. And then when we come to this segment on our show, now here we go. Is this this would be a breaking news of the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board of Breaking News. Yeah. Jackie Lynn Ellison has allegedly shaved. Allegedly. I have allegedly, I mean he he told me. He he told me that he is shaved and he was very very sure and he convinced me, but he would not share a picture with me because he says and I quote I take weird selfies. <laughs> so, but I talked to him for a while and and if if he didn't shave then he he played a very very good acting job because he was I don't know I don't even know the right words like he was very like. 
not psychological, but like lots of big words. And he was very, put a lot of thought and effort into the shaving deal. So he. Look, I'm picking his nose. <sighs> <laughs> He's probably picking his nose right now since he doesn't have a mustache. Um, Anyways, real quick, uh, as we see Chris Toth just chimed in asking about Chris's dad. So anyways, Chris isn't with us tonight because uh, his dad went in for quadruple bypass surgery yesterday. And uh, so he's been with his dad and everything, and he's missed some work. So he had to work tonight. His dad's doing good. Um, Hopefully everything goes good. But it was all indications, according to Chris, that uh, everything is heading in the right direction. So... Thoughts and prayers to Chris and his dad and his family. So, but yeah, that's where Chris is tonight, and that's the news on Chris. So, I didn't even think about putting that on the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board and Breaking News page. Yeah, I didn't know how how readily available that news and information was, so, yep, I, so. I didn't. But hey, Chris is here. Look oh, he is. Hey. Hey, Chris. Oh, hi. Hey, Chris. Hi. Look, you're back. Oh, oh. Look, let's. Oh. There's he's, Chris. He's somewhere. <laughs> there he is. Chris. Da dang. Da dang. Okay, so now that we go to the next thing, we have the uh now this was a, a piece that I posted. It was written by the Alliance. Uh and as you can see, um I'm I'm just gonna read this to you because you know I know you all can read it, but I'm choosing to read it. So Um, Okay, the Alliance posted, there have been a lot of questions about the differences between the Great American Beard and Mustache Championships and the National Beard and Mustache Championships. Uh, Our goal with this statement is to outline the differences and to reassure anyone concerned that the North American Competitive Beard and Mustache Alliance and Beard Team USA will strive to coexist and work harmoniously together. That means they're going to play harmonicas together and they're going to play them really well. The North American Competitive Beard and Mustache Alliance was formed to help grow and promote beard and mustache competitions throughout North America, provide a body to help coordinate events between organizations and share best practices between clubs. The Alliance competition is called the Great American Beard and Mustache Championships, held in even-numbered years by a member club. Incorrectly referred to as the Nationals by some, It gives competitors the opportunity to win the title of great American champion. Now we had dealt a lot with this, uh, when we were at the great American championship last year in Richmond and a lot of people were calling it nationals and, uh, you know, a lot of people were correcting everyone about it and, you know, just trying to, you know, kind of clear everything up. And I think that that's why they wanted to post this. So everything kind of got ironed out. And so people understand exactly what the difference between the great American championship and the nationals are. So to continue the great American beard and mustache championships are held biannually in even years and overseen by the NACBMA. The competition is structured with categories to closely mirror and lead into the world championships. The next event will be on August of 2020 in Salt Lake City, hosted by the Salty Saint Club and Facial Hair Society at Snowbird Ski Resort. I don't think we're going to be skiing at that thing because I think it's like, unless they have snow in August. Um, Beard Team USA represents facial hair in the United States and at international beard and mustache competitions. Well, all while promoting the positive facial hair awareness and the generous and charitable community nationwide. Their competition is the National Beard and Mustache Championships, where the national championship is won. The National Beard and Mustache Championships are held annually and are organized by Beard Team USA. And it is some it is some it has some fun, apparently. The other one doesn't, but I, I, I kid. <laughs> Only one of them's fun. One of them's fun. This one has some fun. Maybe the other one has some fun too. But uh, different categories on the first night to add a twist to the competition as well as some WBMA standard categories. This year, the competition will be held uh, will be held November 8th and 9th in Tinley Park, Illinois at 350 Brewing Company. Now, another side note to this. Uh, if you go over to the Beard Team... Uh, USA Facebook page or the event page, they actually did post the itinerary for the weekend. So if you go over there, it'll list like what's going on Friday night and the 
the there's like three special categories that they're doing, like a brewer's beard category, uh business beard category, and there was one other one that I can't remember off the top of my head. And then they are doing uh, uh Bart. Yeah, something. So then the next day, the competition starts at 11 a.m. They list all the categories, and I believe in what order they are going on. So, of course, it always starts with the mustaches, then it leads into the partial beards, and then into the full beards, and then at the end of the night, it's going to be closed off by all the women's categories. But like I said, just go over to the uh, event page for the uh, Nationals, the uh, Beard Team USA page, or the Nationals. So, okay. Uh to continue on, uh, these are two completely different competitions, but both encourage the attendance and participation of anyone who can legally attend. Legally, legally attend. attend. I don't know. Maybe they're talking about that guy that was trying to be the drug smuggler that was coming into Austin from Miami. Yeah. Weren't you, you and him like best friends? No, no. Oh, oh I thought y'all were. <laughs> both the... NAC, BMA, and the Beard Team USA will be working together to promote and support all facial hair competitions while spreading the message of camaraderie and charity, which is the foundation of our amazing community. If you have any other questions after reading this, please don't hesitate to reach out to one of the organizations. We'll be happy to answer them. You can either reach out to President of the Alliance, Jeremy Smith, or Brian Nelson or MJ Johnson from Beard Team USA. So that's what we have on that. There you go. Lots of good news and information right there. Yep. Okay. Yep. Now, everyone's probably seen this article already about... uh, It clearly says, world's best beard. That's all you need to know about that article. Yeah. Just go read it. Just so everybody knows. Andrew Kloss is here. And he says the... I don't know what that was. He doesn't doesn't think the order of the Nationals is ironed out yet. I don't know either, but what I'm reporting is that what I saw looked to be what I took as the order. So if it changes, it changes. Yeah, just because you're a freaking champion of the world now doesn't mean you can tell us what to do. All right. The Mile High Beard Bout, which is this weekend, we'll be talking to uh, Greg Rittner in a minute about that event. Shut up. Team Kloss, hashtag... We'll just keep that up. Yep. That's the smartest thing you've ever said, Shane. I know. Lonesome City Travelers reunion with Royal Royal Grave Soundbart. uh, Hashtag Team Mets. Uh, Yeah, so everybody, like, let's let's slow down on that one a little bit. We'll go back to it. This this is, no, go back, go back, go back. So Scott Metz has always done music. He's, he's been he's really really talented his brother's really talented and i believe i could be wrong but i think this is i know it's a reunion show but i think this is going to be their last show together and and i know absolutely it would mean the world to him if everybody went to orlando and supported him and his band i know we've We've joked around with the Team Kloss and the Team Mets thing, but everybody knows we freaking love both them dudes and absolutely would mean the world to, uh, you know, all the Team Metsters if, if you know, people just showed up and supported this this band. That That is all. So then, then we're going to roll into – well, we this has already been passed and everything, so that's old news. Yeah. But then, here we go. Old news. Here it is. Oh, look at this. You people voted, oh. and now the results are in. The poll has ended. <laughs> 488 people voted on this one. It was crazy. Like, Mets led six days. I mean, he was beating the brakes off of Andrew Kloss. And then all of a sudden yesterday, I don't know what happened. It's like Kloss went from a 30 behind to he beat – uh, Scott Metz by like a hundred votes. I know he's like he said last <laughs> night. He was like, "I'm I'm laying on the gas now, laying on the Here gas." We go. And, and he laid on the gas, you know, because he's full of farts. So that's what he does. <laughs> he he lays on the gas, and he did. Boy, did he ever! But world's best beard, world's best beard for sure. And that was the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board of breaking news. It was. The BS button beard bulletin board of breaking news. Okay, well, are we ready to bring our super awesome guest in? Let's roll him in live from probably Denver, Colorado, or Denver, Colorado adjacent, or 
Yes. Adjacent. Yes. Next to Greg, the swole man Rittner. Of Rittner and Bittner. Of Rittner and Bittner. Rittner and, Bittner and Weinstein. <laughs> oh, and Weinstein. Well, added a That's cool. Yeah, we need it to sound like a fi- like super official. You sound super official in a fish tank, but we'll go. Is it with working? It. Is all the sound working? It's okay. Yes, it does. It's much better than what we tried earlier. So okay, okay. You sound like you're okay. calling from the the National Space Station, but it still works though. I'm sorry. No, hey, it's, I was it's trying better. to multitask and I failed. It's called hey, it's, it's technology. Better than called earlier from that uh, that raging party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was at a rave. Yeah, he was at a rave, yeah. like glow sticks and everything. He's like, "Can you yeah. hear me?" No. Yep. We're totally. <laughs> it was. It was just a brewery. I thought it'd be cool to do it from a brewery. Yeah, it was cool. If you made and everyone loud. shut up. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. couldn't get him to do that. Yeah, I couldn't get him to do that. Do you, so, are uh, you supposed to be get up and be like, "Don't you know who I am?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, everybody. I have an announcement to make. Breaking news. I'm, I'm going to be on Talking Beards. Shut the fuck up. And yeah. then they'd be like, you're <laughs> going to be on Talking Beards? And then everybody just would have shut up. Shut up. Yeah, they would have all surrounded me. They would have been behind me. It would have been cool. But next time, next time. <sighs> Look, Andrew Kloss time. wants to know who you are. Who yeah, are no kid. What is this beard crap? Let's start, I, let's start this off here now. Like, let's t- t- Tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from, and... You know, like, you know, what club do you represent? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. I'm Greg Rittner. I represent, well, I used to be the president of the Rocky Mountain Beard and Mustache Club. We're based out of Fort Collins, Colorado, uh, which is like an hour and a half-ish north of Denver. And uh, I am a mustache, natural mustache competitor. But since Austin, I grew a beard. Well, it looks stupid. I know I'm shaving it off. As soon as Eric, so Eric Brooks is coming to visit me for our competition uh, this weekend, and I was thinking we might be Chops Brothers for the weekend. Uh, bad idea. I mean, Chops look. No offense to Chops guys, but they look pretty bad on basically everybody. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's the dumbest yeah. face here, except it's, Nate. It's, Nate Johnson. He's about the only Nate one. Nate looks amazing. Yeah, yeah I agree. Well, exception to he's, he can rock the chops. Um, I did it for a total of four days a couple years ago, and nobody took me seriously. Four um, days of your life. I remember you saying that. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So, yeah. The mustache is coming back All later right. this um, week. So, now, like, as Ben, ben Samuel says, you used to be president. You're not anymore. What's the deal with that? Did they overthrow um, you? No, not really. I mean... You guys run beard clubs. It's a lot of work, man. Yeah. I got a job. I got kids. There was people who were willing to step up. So I'm like more of a liaison now. That's a good position. Yeah. I'm still super involved, but I'm not responsible for anything. That's awesome. Yeah. It's the the dream. Yeah. So really, I just get to show up to things and drink. (laughs) What you're doing right now. In my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, I'm breaking like seven laws right now, but whatever. Well, you're not driving, so are you in the passenger seat? Passenger seat, but I do have the air conditioning on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's DUI, my friend. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, I've so only had one beer, so it'd be okay. All right, so tell us a little bit about what's going on this weekend. What do what right, so what's the event? Tell us about the event. This weekend in Denver, Colorado, we have teamed up with the Boulder Facial Hair Club uh, and the Western Slope Whiskers, which is a club uh, based out of Grand Junction, Colorado, um, which is way far away. They're like way far away. Um, But we decided that we're going to team up forces and instead of having people come out to Fort Collins in June and then again in October, or November to Boulder's um, competition that we would just have one big competition in Denver this year. So we're trying this out. So this year, hey, look, that's our competition. There it is. There it is. Bar and Grill on Saturday. We're having the Mile High Beer Bout. All right. Now, uh, what? Now you. uh, Oh, look at all your. Look at all your 
ticket now ticket friendly option. So you can go right on the on the website here, the uh, Facebook page, and you can actually go in and order. Like if you want to just be a spectator, you can get a spectator ticket for ten dollars. Uh, yep. Or if you want to be in any of the categories, you just enter what you want, you continue, and then it'll take you to the Eventbrite page. You pay, and you can get your ticket. So really cool. So, yeah, so you guys have, uh, what is that, 12 different categories? Uh, I believe so, 12 categories. Um, we do a super awesome category that I don't think anybody else is doing yet, which is uh, the speed style category, the 60-minute speed style category. Yeah, tell us like all that. about we- that. We broke up the uh, freestyle category. So, you know, freestylers, they take uh, hours to get ready. So we knocked it down. We opened the doors an hour early for the freestyle, the 60 minute freestyle competitors. And they have, we have mirrors and hair dryers and all the stuff that, well, they bring their own stuff, but we have it set up. So they sit in front of a mirror and people can watch them style for the hour before we start the competition. And then once that 60 minutes is up, tools down, they come backstage and we, we get the party started with, with them. So as I don't know if you can see here, but is that the order of the evening pretty much? Um, no. Okay, good. Nope. Nope. I have a whole nother piece of paper that shows the order of the evening and the order of the evening starts with the 60 minute freestylers. Cause we know that, you know, freestyle to make it last for the whole entire night takes yeah. more than 60 minutes. So we, we get them judged right away so they can like not worry about it anymore. Now, can, now here's a question. If they're doing that category and they're doing it first, can they wash out and then go do another category? We only allow one category. What kind of club We're are you? Competing in one category. I don't know. I feel like that's what the rules are. I mean, we're just yeah, going along with the flow of everybody else, right? You have taxi well, you want to be like show Sam up. Bias, who like competes in full beard and then chops and then mustache and then he loses at everything. Well, we had tech the, at the uh, uh, Indiana competition, the Bearded Hero. Uh, taxi Phil did nine categories. What? Nine categories he did. Wow. I mean, that's that's cool, but did he? Did, the question is. Did he pay for registration for all nine categories? Yes, he did. I think it's so like one that awesome. So he raised that much more money for charity. It was like twenty five thousand dollars. I think he raised. He Holy already he had, he had to pay all by himself. Yeah, twenty five. I mean, dollars. Just I mean taxes. Again, if somebody wanted to argue and say, "Hey, I want to compete in multiple categories," and then they paid another thirty dollars for charity, we let him do it. You're right, right, breaking, breaking news. The executive decision as the past president of this club that if you want to be in more than one category, that you can do it. <laughs> breaking news. Breaking news. You heard it breaking here first news. on Talking Beards. Breaking news. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the judges. Who's who's the esteemed judges for this event? So, um, first is, do you guys um, know Felipe Otaco Gonzalez from Detroit? Yes. Never heard of him. Nope, never heard, never heard of him. So, Brad's coming. Brad's going to come and be a judge, which would be super awesome. Well, speaking um, of Brad and El Taco Gonzalez, have y'all seen the picture that Encara took of him in Connecticut? I don't know. I Maybe. saw lots of pictures of him. Okay. Let me. I'm going to post it here in like two minutes. Everyone has to see okay. this magical. Thing. Y'all keep talking. Um, okay. Then the next judge we have is um, one of the most famous whiskerinas in the world. Uh, I think. I don't know. That's what she told me. Megan Gooch from uh, the Salty Saints. She's coming out, hanging out. Going to judge some faces. Salty Saints hosting the 2020 Great American Beard and Mustache Championship next year in August. In August, yeah. F- and if, FYI. Guys, I'm going on a tangent here, but have you guys ever been to that competition in Snowbird? No, I have not. No, I've heard so much good stuff about it, but I've never made it out there, unfortunately. Hands down, the most beautiful venue for a beard and mustache competition in the United States of America. That's what I've. That's what I've heard. Yeah. I might be sold Amazing. on going now. You should. You should. And for us, we're five. We're 
five hours away with the way I drive. So it's a no brainer. We can do a quick weekend. Very to cool. Utah. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, the judge number three is, uh, some guy, some guy that we know who does this podcast slash, uh, YouTube show. The one and only you're looking at his face right now, Scott Sakura. What? Hey. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking I'm going to be in Denver news. this Breaking weekend. News. Breaking news. Scott's coming to Denver. I know. What? I'm super pumped yeah. about it. And uh, Felipe and I are staying together. Uh, well, Ooh. yeah, him and I are staying. Yeah. No, there's and not going to be any it. teabagging at all. Yeah, yeah, right. Scott Sakura loves getting teabagged. Only by you. I have a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I've heard that. I heard that, but yeah, it's okay. good. Okay. Um, and then uh, you know we we just had a little. Uh, one of our judges had a family emergency, so she she's not going to be able to make it. So we're gonna we're gonna wing it for a couple of the other judges. But um, three of the other judges, I think, are going to be uh, the presidents of the three clubs that are uh, represented here. So. Uh, I know Ryan Harden is going to judge, and so is C.J. Bullock from Boulder, and the guy from the Western Slope Whiskers, Aaron. His name's Aaron. He's going to judge. That dude's got an awesome name. Yeah, totally. He does. And remember, I'm not in charge of anything, so... Other than the three that I mentioned, they could be totally wrong. I could be way off. <laughs> yeah. Breaking news. I might have just told all the wrong judges. I don't know. Yeah. Well, three. Three are right. Three are one hundred percent right. Oh, look, heard, Brian just heard, said something, so I guess he's judging. I heard Scott Sakura wasn't gonna make it. I um, hope I, I hope that's not breaking news. That's not no, that's I'm coming. You shut your mouth and you yeah. my Scott. <laughs> we don't need that. And then, uh, do you guys know Joe Mills? Any relation to Frank? Uh, maybe, maybe. Olin, you know Joe Olin. Mills. Olin Paul Mills. Glass the... of water fell off his bike in Belgium. And had to come home early. <laughs> no, I didn't hear about that story. <laughs> he uh, he traveled to Belgium for uh, worlds fell off of his bike and then never made it to Worlds because he had to come home and get his broken elbow fixed. That had to be a horrible trip home. Maybe I should interview him and find out about that story. Yeah, he'll be around all weekend. So Joe Mills and I are going to host this whole event. So So you guys are going to be the yeah. MCs. We're going to be the MCs. You're stuck with us. The, my club wouldn't allow me to be an MC by myself again because I told a terrible joke, which I admitted was a terrible joke. Prove it. Say it everybody. Right I'm not going to tell the joke again because you'll all of the people watching will stop watching. <laughs> Ooh. So we got Chad Roberts. So, he's here from, he's in Vancouver right now visiting beautiful. He's doing this big tour of Canada right now. Is he going to, there? Is there competition this weekend or next weekend? Oh, Vancouver. I believe. I don't know. Vancouver was last weekend. Yeah, it was last weekend. No, I thought Hartford was last weekend. It was the same weekend. Oh, was it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Van, yeah, Vancouver was on the first, and so was the Hartford one. Next weekend is Rose City, is Portland, right? Correct. No, Portland's the 22nd. Yeah, 22nd. Two weekends, two weekends from now. Yeah. I'm not telling the joke. You can tell your people to tell the joke. It had to do with Michael Jackson and a priest. I'm not telling it again. Just look it up online. I'm sure you can find that same joke. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, Aaron's got a joke, apparently. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. You, you ready? Yes. You ready for this? What do you call this? Aaron going like this? No, yeah. but here it is again. Oh. <laughs> it's only <laughs> funny because I have a friend that tells my jokes to my kids. <laughs> you need to, see, you need to hear it again, Scott, yeah. to understand. Okay, what is this? You doing so, this? I, I I don't know. No, but I don't know. But here it is again. <laughs> I know. I okay. I get it now. So it's this. Yeah. So what is this? Yeah. But it's what this though. It? As we keep hitting, I don't our... know. But here it comes again. I know. Yeah, see, it's freaking hilarious. No, it's not. You're stupid. And hot Carl taught me that. Oh, hot Carl is even hot Carl hot, here? 
Uh, Hot Carl hasn't tuned in yet. Whoa, it was like such a good joke that people wanted refunds and everything. What? Jeez. The Michael J- the Michael was, Jackson joke? It wasn't even that big of a deal. And and I screwed up the joke. It made zero sense. The punchline was the punchline was for another joke. <laughs> <laughs> it made no. no sense and then when the guy came to yell at me and ask for his money back it was after i had tore off my tearaway shorts and was standing in a speedo and he came and berated me and can i i can cuss on this right yes yeah sure Go ahead. so he came up to me and he said hey hey where's the mc and i said that's me and he said that joke you told that was a terrible joke that was the most offensive thing and he goes fuck you and fuck this club. I want my money back. I'm out. And I was like, I'm sorry, sir. I am very sorry that that offended you. He must've been a priest. (laughs) Maybe. something. This guy gets my comedy. (laughs) It was, uh, it was something I'll tell you. It was something, but whatever. I learned a lesson. Don't tell those jokes anymore. And Joe Mills is in charge of emceeing. I just get to make jokes. Yeah. And make jokes and drink beer. The Kalamazoo Parade of Whiskers is also this weekend. Yeah, I heard I heard that because Sean Logie's not going to be here because he's judging that one. No one likes Sean Logie anyway. Yeah, yeah I know. Oh, you want to know the other super cool thing that I think has only ever happened one other time in the history of things? This could be breaking news. Breaking okay. News. Sean yeah, Logie got direction. Record. Oh, breaking news. Um, Johnny Johnny Awesome is going to be tattooing at our competition. Who's that? Yeah, you know Johnny Awesome. He's not relevant. He's not relevant. We that's what we oh, hear okay. about him. Yeah, okay. he's really not relevant. He he just wants to be so relevant in the bearding community so <laughs> bad. He he calls me crying like pretty much every night, and I will refuse to let him on our show. Oh, hey, he's gonna be crushed. I crushed. Think yeah, he's sleeping because it's like it's in at like one a.m. right now. Just yes, make sure that you tell him multiple times how not relevant he is in the bearding community, and make sure okay. that you keep doing tattoos because that's the only community he's relevant in. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he he's loves that. tattoo at the show. They're letting him tattoo at the uh, competition, so it's going to be awesome. awesome. I love that. I really like and that. And if you want, if you want something custom, hit him up. Go on our Facebook page, and he's going to be here like all weekend. So if you want a big old custom piece, I know he's got plenty of time this weekend to do custom pieces. Uh, oh, and he'll have a whole go. flash sheet set up for the show. So if you want to get a little piece of flash ranging in the amount of 60 to $120 at the competition, he'll him and another buddy are tattooing, uh, the whole time. So that, that'll be you super should, awesome. Should get a tattoo of me. I was thinking about maybe, it. Maybe that's it. a piece of flash. Dude. Oh, he should for real put that as the flash. Not Dude, like if he did that, I would do it. I would Sweet. do it like this, like this. He should do the three talking beard guys as the Flash. That's us. We're the talking beard guys. I'm the I know one that. that. I'm just saying. Oh, here this. Yeah, no, but I don't want to go <laughs> keto. I just want a mustache. Why don't you have any mustaches on this show? You are uh, right now, but you don't have a mustache. Yeah. I don't have a mustache that, uh, right now. Later this week. Okay, let's here. let's let's uh, real quick though. But now, who's the who? What's who are you guys doing this all for? Who is the charity you guys are trying to help out with this whole thing? All right. So we have three different charities that, uh, if Ryan, if you're watching, I need, I don't know the charity for the Western Silk guys. So comment on that. Okay. But the other two charities, uh, the Fort Collins Club, the Rocky Mountain Beard and Mustache Club, we are raising money for Partners Mentoring Youth, which is uh, a local. It's kind of like Big Brothers, Big Sisters, but they're very local. They work in Larimer and Weld counties, which are the two um, kind of counties that are up here that uh, my wife just drove by with my kids and said bye. Uh, Larimer and Weld counties. Um, and it's like uh, they, they serve at-risk youth. youth. So they pair um, positive role model mentors with uh, higher at-risk youth kids. Super awesome. Uh, And then the Boulder Facial Hair Club is raising money for Rocky Mountain Cancer Assistance, which is a a nonprofit that helps people, families that are going through cancer things, but not like their medical bills, but like all of the other bills that, you know, people kind of forget about when you're going through cancer and, you know, you still got health payments, you still got 
car payments. You still got like life to pay for when all your money's being sucked up by medical bills to try and save your life. So Rocky Mountain Cancer Assistance helps with those types of bills. And then I think the Western Slope guys are doing like a dog um, rescue type thing, but not 100% sure. So the money is going to be divided equally between the three clubs to serve our each individual community since we're kind of so spread out Mm -hmm. this year so we're we're gonna try and help as many different people as we can that's awesome cool okay now everyone can find out more information by going to uh they can go to facebook do you guys don't have like a regular website do you western short slope whiskers is supporting the house grand junction but I'm talking about like, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, sorry. So sorry, 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 sorry. Have, we have a website, but our Facebook page is the best way to get info for us. Uh, Follow us on Facebook and go to our regular Facebook page and the event page here on uh, yeah, um, right. on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, the Rocky Mountain High Beard and Mustache Club. Yeah, so if you want any more information about that, you can go to the Facebook page, event page. You can get all linked back up to all that stuff and uh, find out more information about the event. Uh, but thank you so much, Greg, for uh, joining us tonight. I'm looking so forward to seeing you guys. I I had so much fun with you at the Great American Beard and Mustache Championship. And right after we interviewed... Uh, the drummer from Lamb of God and just it was so much fun. But I still gotta get that video up. But uh <laughs> the the interview no one has ever seen yet. Yeah, I know. And With then I, me? No, yeah, I did because we talked to you after we met uh Chris Adler and you were we, I think you were watching and you're like, God Scott, he's like that look on your face, you were so excited. And then we <laughs> then we met you backstage. It was you and uh Quinn and someone who that else was back there, but anyways, um, you were you were so funny, but I think you were really drunk. So, I, well, I mean, yeah, for sure. But I, <laughs> I, I not really drunk because I remember that because I remember coming to say hey and like introducing myself to Chris, and then they called my number at Great American, and I was like, what? what? No way, this is happening right now. I was expecting to do like I did at Worlds and like lose. And what what did you do? What did you end up getting at the Great American? Uh, I got at Great American. I got second. Hey, good job! See, Yay. look at that. There's like eleven guys in my category. It was sweet. Good. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. We'll have a beer to celebrate. Let's do it Friday night. So Let's do it. All right, dude. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I will catch up with you uh, in the next few days, and uh, I guess that's about it. I'll, I'll mustard with you. Shut up. We'll FaceTime. You want to FaceTime? God, I, I hope so. Do it. He's gonna right. he's gonna probably mayonnaise with you instead of mustard. Yeah, I'll I'll mayonnaise with you since Scott's gonna catch up with you. Hey. <laughs> hey. hey. Uh, Aaron's full of dad jokes. I am. I'm full of it. Uh, uh, full of terrible, terribly offensive jokes. So are you gonna tell your joke or what? I mean Don't. I don't think I should. I don't think you should. <laughs> I mean, you want me to? Here's what I did in our competition. Hey, thumbs up or thumbs down on a terribly offensive joke that's going to piss somebody off. And the whole crowd went, yeah, thumbs up, let's hear it. And then, and then you got I told some them, thumbs downs. I got four thumbs downs and they wanted oh. their money back. Boo. Yeah, like, we- I mean, it's, you know, you, I'm not, I'll tell, I will tell Scott and then Scott can tell you okay. next time you talk to him. All right. I like this. Okay, this sounds good. Yeah. Or maybe I'll just interview him doing it, and then if they decide it's okay, then we'll show the footage. Okay, yeah, let's do that. That's a good sounds plan, good. because I'm sure there's like a few people watching that I would piss off. Ryan Harden. He's watching. <laughs> 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 All right, sir. All right. Okay, well, All right. thank you very much. Hang up, and we'll talk to you in a few days. Okay. See you bye. later. See you later, bud. Yeah, Thanks bye. again. Hey. Oh, hi. Hi. Here. Well, Here's this. I know. I saw that. <laughs> and in uh, breaking news, Melissa Crafton's here. She is. Hey, Melissa Crafton. Yeah, she she was talking. And she said this. Hey, James Roth. Are you hey. any relation to David Lee? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Melissa must have a cold tonight. Oh, what else did she say? They're they're separating the creative oh. beard categories. They sure are. They're separating them so good. Sorry, guys. We can't tell the joke because we don't know what it is. Circle beard. <laughs> Circle beard yeah. for the square. <laughs> Circle beard for the square. <laughs> 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 That's from Tic Tac Toe, dude. Did you ever watch that show? I know, but it it made me laugh. I I wasn't expecting it. All right. So, so, did you like my joke? Do I? Do you want the joke? Did you? Did you like it? I told you that I was going to surprise you with my sweet joke. I thought it was this one. I know. I said, "What did you think about it?" Stupid. I hated it. Don't ever do it again. I'm a freaking. You're stupid. There. Now what? Do I need to talk quieter since I'm littler? What? I can't hear you. You're too small. <sighs> hey. Okay. So as we thank you, Greg, who's still, he's still hanging on there, but he, Greg there he is. I know. Hi. Yeah. Look how huge he is. I know. His muscles those, are so big. Those we didn't even get a are... chance. We didn't even get a chance to talk about his muscles, but. Dang. Um, well, here, here, hold on. Keep, uh-oh. keep, keep talking. Oh, but anyways, we're going to uh, jump into the BS, or no, sorry, the, not the BS button. The, look at that. Look how big his muscles are. Mudcat, so Mudcat Whiskers <laughs> uh, trivia. So, uh, like we said, go to mudcatwhiskers.com. Check out all the cool stuff they have there. Enter promo code Talking Beards. You will get 25% off plus a bottle of their unreleased oil called Evangeline. And uh, check them out. They got some cool stuff, cool merch, uh, cool oils, cool balms waxes all that cool stuff so and bags bags and shirts. yes they got some awesome stuff so make sure you go check them out so uh so tonight whoever wins the bs or sorry god why do i keep saying the bs button it's the mudcat whiskers trivia um welcome to talking stupid the only show where the hosts call each other stupid and we call you stupid yeah sean logie you're stupid 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 sean logie all right, so, so yeah, so the winner, hey, the winner ahead. tonight's gonna get a promo code, and they will be able to pick what they wish from the Mudcat Whiskers store. So, whatever you wish, whatever you wish. So, okay, Richard what, Dawson's here. I know. Ooh, Rich- Beardweiser, you are oh, Beardweiser shop. Look at that. You're yeah, so, so I, I want to go out and say that you know i really appreciate beardweiser shop and amari amari for making all of our cool little things that we made of the world beard and mustache championships with the little three little winners on it and he also created the ones for the southeastern beard and mustache championships top three winners as well and that was a really cool he did that for us and maybe we'll do some more stuff with uh Beardweiser shop and Amari Amari and over there in South of France. Yeah, I thought area. that was really cool. Like when I logged on the other day and I saw that you guys had posted all those things for all your winners, that was really cool. Yeah, he does a real good job. So in the next week or so, we'll we'll actually post the entire list of all the categories and all the scores. But that that was you know our preliminary release of the Pul- top three. Did you say pulmonary? I think I said it wrong. Preliminary. I'm, oh, not, preliminary. I'm not good at, Poli- not good at words. Pol- preliminary. <sighs> I went to school in Kentucky. Sorry. Okay. Let's get on with this trivia here. We're going to be yeah, watching. So we were going to do something a little different for trivia tonight, and I the could, plans kind of fell through. But wait a minute. We're, we're, oh. there, I have an idea. Okay. Go ahead. Now, as we discussed, I, I had made up, and I had sent you a long time ago. Yes. Your joke thing? My jokes. I mean, we're on a joke theme tonight. Go for it. Let's see how it goes. Let, guess okay. This is called guess the punchline. Now we're gonna ask a series of questions, or they're they're pretty much like kid jokes, and whoever answers it right is gonna be the winner. So we'll start off. You have ten. I have a lot more than ten. Oh, well, we'll do ten. <laughs> okay. Ish. Why do you? Why don't you ever see a hippopotamus hiding in a tree? Why don't you ever see a hippopotamus hiding in a tree? Everyone wanted jokes. Here's the jokes. Here's the jokes. Here's the jokes, guys. Now you have to answer them correctly to get a point. He sneezes. That's incorrect. 
Because Scott likes cheese. No, that's not correct. Why mm. don't you ever see hippopotamuses hiding in trees? Because they're scared of heights. Natalie says, because they are good at hiding. That is the correct answer. Good job, Natalie. Natalie B. Johnston. The score is Natalie won. Everyone else suck. That's it. Natalie won. All right, go ahead. Okay, question number two. What kind of shoes do ninjas wear? <laughs> this. This. Oh, here it comes again. Andrew Kloss, I don't even see. Oh, no. uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Nally said because they're good at hiding. Andrew Kloss says because they hide so well, apparently. What 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 did your paper say? Because they're really good at it, hiding. It's up to you. This this is your your jokes. I can't. Well, I'm trying to look at the time code on there. It says I mean, if Claw shows up on the timeline first, but they both say eight fifty-two. Uh, um. Uh oh, I'm gonna go Claw. I'm sorry, he came in first. <sighs> came in like a wrecking ball. I know. Sorry, Natalie. You still have mm. a chance to win. Yeah, Natalie, you got this. Okay, what kind oh, of shoes? What I kind think... of shoes do ninjas wear? Hold on, let's see. People are answering and we're we're freaking Yep, Tyler Hill, that's what I saw too. Tyler Hill. Tyler Hill gets one. <laughs> Tiptoe shoes. That is dumb. No such thing. Ninja boots. Not even there's no such thing as that. All right. Thongs? Thong shoes? I don't think that's right. All right, here we go, guys. Gone, here we go. Why can't a bike stand on its own? Why can't a bike stand on its own? You hit your microphone. I know. I did. 3,000 people watching right now? 3,000 people. Lucas Cooper. It's too tired. Too, too tired. Okay, score: Kloss one, Hill one, Cooper one. Okay, this is for all you. This, this is uh, this is for all you cat lovers out here. Th that one made Tyler Hill. LOL. We don't have our O today to do it. We just go. Pizza roll taco. One. What do you call a big pile of kittens? What do you call a big pile of kittens? Shannon clicking beard is stupid. That's what I just read. I know. That's what I saw. Catastrophe. No, that is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Chad Roberts says adorable. Oh, a meowton. Look at that. Sarah Willis got it. <laughs> Litter. All right. Kitty litter. Mountain of lions. You're stupid, Claus. That was a good one. All right. Yeah. How do you make holy water? How do you make holy water? Chow mein. <laughs> only, a, only a whaler would say something that dumb. <laughs> I don't have a mustache. Clinkin' Beard gets it. Damn him. Boil the hell out of it. That's, that's how right. you that's how you make holy water, you boil the hell out of it. It's anyone's race at this point. We have Kloss with one. I like this. Poke holes in it. Yeah. You can't poke that's, holes that, in water. Yeah, but that's how you make holy water. 
Obviously, that's, that's what I thought it was. Uh, whatever. See, me and Mark are thinking Klaus like, one, Tyler one, Lucas Cooper one, Sarah Willis one, and we'll leave this up all night. Yeah. Okay. Why do they not play poker in the jungle? Oh, I got a joke. No, you how don't. do you wake? How do you uh, wake Lady Gaga up? I don't know. Poker face. You pop up poker face. <laughs> 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 you laughed at that one. <laughs> that was much better than this one. No way. That was hilarious too. Oh, here it comes Wait, again. <laughs> Lucas Cooper got it. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> why you cannot play? Po- why? Why don't they play poker in the jungle? Too many cheetahs. Oh, that's pretty funny. It is. You poker didn't laugh face. though, because I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking about my thing. Because you well, said poker. That, actually, so this is a good one because they're a lion. That's a good one too. But mm. what poker it, face. Quit making it disappear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're Now what? Hold on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Put your put your glasses on, nerd, so you can read. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he had no brain. And that's where they stand. Because they have no brain. Right? Isn't that or is he like I have no idea no heart. I don't remember. What the lion? It yeah. was courage. Coyage. He didn't have no coyage. Outstanding. Because his name was Andrew Claus. Whoop. I think that's right. Here. Wait, hold on. No, no, no. Yeah, that was too. No, it is that is incorrect. Lupus Lucas hold on. Stop it. Outstanding in his field, Lucas Cooper. <laughs> Who is this Lucas Cooper that's come out of nowhere? Lucas, who are you? <laughs> Where do you come from? What What is your occupation? Okay, are we ready for the next one? Goathead. What did the buffalo say when his son left? What did the buffalo say when his son left? What did the buffalo say? <laughs> Jason Schaefer coming in hot. That's funny. Answer is bye, son. Bye, son. Yay. Congratulations on uh, actually saying something, Jason. I know, getting in there. Oh, he, he tunes in every Look week. Look at this. He... Chris Odom. Bye, son. Really? Come on, Odom. No. no That's Odom. not even right. <laughs> Chad. Just so you know, uh, this is this is some inside scoop. Jason was the first person to purchase a Talking Beards shirt. Ooh. And Andrew Matson wanted to stab him in the eyeball. Just so you know, because he's, he, he's Andrew's the number one fan. He has uh, officially replaced Tyler Hill, so he wanted to buy the first shirt, but Jason beat him to it. And, and now I think they they hate each other. Now I'm pretty sure. Freaking news. Okay, question nine. It's a good question. Shut up. I'm looking for a funny one. <laughs> uh, true. Okay. What does a house wear? What does a house wear? No, Jan is incorrect. What does a house wear? Skirt. No. No, that's what Tyler Hill wears. <laughs> Alan, no, it is not a house coat. That's pretty good, though. House <laughs> shoes? No, sorry. What does a house wear? As everyone's looking it up really quick. A t-shirt? No, sorry. Uh, 
a hat. Yeah, no, Andrew Kloss wears a hat. He's not a house. Yeah, yeah Andrew Kloss, you're not a house. Logie gets you do it. Have the uh, a dress. Someone said a dress. Someone. She said a house dress, not an address. Uh, <laughs> get it? Because the address is on the outside of the house. I don't get it. All right. Well, we're going to do question 10, but we've already determined who our winner is. One more. Go for it. Connect four. How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? 400. You're pretty darn close. Three licks to get to the center of the octopus. Hot Carl's in the house. Hot Carl, there he is. (laughs) <laughs> you missed it, Hot Carl. I told the joke like 14 times. <laughs> Lucas Cooper gets it. 10 tickles. I don't get it. Tentacles. Uh, ten now nah, you okay. got it. Yeah. There you go. So, uh-huh. All right. So our big winner tonight is Lucas. Uh, sorry, Lucas Cooper. Lucas Cooper coming in hot. He comes out of nowhere and is winning here. So basically, everyone's the winner tonight because they got to hear my sweet joke. And they got to hear a bunch of my really sweet jokes, too. Yeah. Chin hair show. Chin hair. Yeah, on the chin hair show. (laughs) What's up, beards? What's Uh, up, other beard? All right. So thank you, everyone, for uh, participating in the Mudcat Whiskers trivia section. Don't forget mudcatwhiskers.com. Go enter promo code TALKINGBEARDS to get 25% off. And your free bottle of Evangeline oil. I am Scott Sakura. I do a podcast called The Beardcaster. Go find out more information about myself. You can go find me on Facebook. You can find me pretty much anywhere, but go to uh, talk or sorry, thebeardcaster.com. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff over there. And yeah, follow my podcast, follow us around. You know, make sure you guys share this talking beard stuff. You know, share it with all your friends because, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to spread the world of beards and all the cool stuff that's going on in there. And, and you guys can help us, you know, get the word out there. Um, don't forget if you see me in Denver this weekend to come up and say, hi, I might have some buttons or something cool to give you. So, uh, hit me up. I will be there. Come say hi. And, uh, yeah, it's about, Oh, did you get that? Come and say, hi, I'm going to be a mile high, but I'm not going to be so high. Hilarious. Though. I'm not going to be high at mile high. So come say hi. Mile high stadium. Yeah, that's where the you, bears play. Are you going to drink uh, Coors Light while you're there? Yeah. That's the taste <laughs> the of the Rockies. I know. Or whatever. <laughs> but I just gonna, I'd rather probably put my tongue in. No, we will not. I, the shirts are all gone already. Sorry, Nicholas. We are completely out of shirts already. They sold out at the first event. They They freaking flew off the shelves. And boy, were their arms tired. I know. But uh, yeah, so um, we'll have shirts sometime. It would just just make sure you follow along on the uh, Talking Beards uh, Facebook page. We'll have more information about when shirts will be available. We have some stuff in the works right now, uh, a couple little changes here and there. But uh, yeah, we're going to have some stuff uh, available fairly soon. Um, so that's all tons I can really say. Stuff. Yeah, tons, tons of stuff. Like we can get your mom oh. like a pillow or something. Here we go. Look at this. Our number one sales girl. That's right. DG, DG, DG from Pittsburgh. Sweet. So, all right. So thank you everyone for listening tonight and greatly appreciate it. Thebeardcaster.com. Go check it out. And Aaron, take us out of here completely. Hey, I'm uh, Aaron D. Johnston. You can find me on all social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Better Homes and Gardens, AAA Magazine. Uh, you can go to honestamish.com. You can go to holycitybeards.org. I, I think my picture's on there. That's cool. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching Talk of Beards. We really appreciate it. We love doing the show every week, and hopefully we can keep growing the show. And we've actually got a, a good bit of stuff in the works. So, you know, be on the lookout for us at some comps. And, you know, we'll, you know, I you did know. some, you know, you know, you know, know stuff. You know. But, yeah, I, I did some some uh on i don't know on location interviews and stuff in the last couple competitions that i was at and we'll we'll probably continue that and i don't know man 
we'll see what else is coming up. Well, but thank you for watching us. Oh, go ahead, Scott. Um, score. Yeah, make sure you guys are uh, paying attention this weekend because I may do some live stuff this weekend. So keep, maybe, maybe I'm gonna maybe. take my I'm gonna take my stuff with me. So you like that, yeah, that's good let my hands that's good yeah. yeah so thanks for watching everybody make sure you share everything and i don't know we'll see you next week same uh same what bat channel bat time and all that stuff or whatever yeah so don't so don't forget to stay tuned for scenes for next week's exciting adventures of talking beards yep coming Can up I, next did i say that right perfect and ciao and cut thank you so much greg and thank you so much aaron i had so much fun with you guys trivia was really fun tonight too it was it was a lot of fun it was really cool to to get a new winner in there lucas cooper so congratulations you'll be getting some really cool stuff from mudcat whiskers so that's why we thank them for sponsoring our trivia section if anyone else is interested in getting some products from mudcat whiskers you can go to mudcatwhiskers.com enter promo code talking beards to get 25 percent off your full order and a free bottle of unreleased oil you can't get any better than that people that is such a great deal so go check it out now other than that go over to the bs button beard bulletin board page and tell us uh tell us something that's going on in the beard community that we'd like to share with everyone We'll get it out to everyone. We'll talk about it on the show. And uh, I guess that's about it. So like I said, go to thebeardcaster.com for more information about myself. We have episode 100 coming up now. This is going to be pretty cool. I'm really excited about this. I got some ideas in the works, but who knows? It probably won't happen. But eh, make sure you uh, subscribe so you can keep up with it. Uh, I'd love to have some feedback from you guys. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the whole Talking Beards thing. We get lots of awesome feedback when we go out on the road, so that's always cool. But I don't get very many emails about anything. So, hey, shoot me an email, scott at thebeardcaster.com, and uh, let me know what you're thinking about the show and everything. So, But uh, we'll wrap it up now, and uh, I'm, I'm getting all packed up to head out to Denver right now to the, the uh, Mile High Beer Bout. So I will see you there. Uh, make sure you say hi. Hopefully I get this out. I'm, I'm going to be working on this on the plane ride. So hopefully I can get it up and out by the time I get to Denver. And uh, you guys can check it out on your way to the Mile High Beard Bout so in Denver. So, okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm out. Ciao. To get all the way, to get all the way back to you.